Welcome back students. Uh, we were discussing chapter 7 transmission medium earlier in this section. Uh, we discussed about the guide media and we were talking about the twisted pairs. Now we will talk about uh, coaxial cables. Let's start with the coaxial cables. Coaxial cables are categorized by the radio government RG. Each RG number denotes uh, denotes a unique set of physical specification including the wire gauge of the inner conductor, the thicker the type of inner insulator, the construction of the shield and the size and type of the outer casing. Each cable defined by an RG rating is adopted by a, for a specialized function. So we can see uh, this RG here. The impedances are 75, 50 ohm. This is the uh, for the TV cable for the thick Ethernet and for the thin Ethernet. We already discussed about thin and thick Ethernets in the, in the labs. Uh, for the cable TV as well, which you are using at the moment and nowadays in your homes. So as long as the uh, you can see the 50 ohms are better. Uh, they are uh, mm, sorry, they are not better. The, the, the 75 ohm impedance is better. This is RG59. So if you're using these ones at home, you will have a better quality of signal at of TV. Uh, let's talk about uh, the connectors. To connect coaxial cable to device, we need coaxial connectors. The most common type of connectors used today is bionet, uh, naval connector. Uh, as you can see in the in the screen, these are the bionet connectors which have this uh, this slider, and this is uh, this is called the T type of BNC T type, and these are called BNC connectors. You connect them and you slide them, and you need to twist them to connect. So the BNC connector is used to connect the end of the cable to a device such as TV set. The BNC T connector is used in Ethernet networks. To branch out to a connection to a computer or other devices, the BNC connector is used at the end of the cable to prevent the reflection of the signal. So the reflection signal is being, uh, is being uh, catered here as well. So let's talk about the performance. As we did uh, with twisted pair cables, we can measure the performance of coaxial cable. Mm, as you can see in the figure. The, the attenuation is much higher in coaxial cables than in twisted pair cables. In other words, although coaxial cables have a much higher bandwidth, the signal weakens rapidly and requires a frequent use of repeaters. So they are not going beyond 30 kilometers. Well, they are they are attenuating more faster. So more energy losses. Cable TV networks, which are uh, uh, nowadays are uh, being used everywhere in Pakistan, also use coaxial cables. In the traditional cable TV network, the entire network use coaxial cable. Later, however, the cable TV provides replacement with the media with fiber optic cable possible. They can do it. They can uh, put their own fiber optic cables or other media as well. Hybrid networks use coaxial cables only at the network boundaries near the consumer premises. Cable TV uses RG59 coaxial cables mostly. Among other applications of coaxial cable is in industry Ethernet plants. Because it is high bandwidth and constantly high data rate, coaxial cables was chosen for digital transmission in early Ethernet plants like 10 base 2 or 10 base 5, where uh, they are using RG58 coaxial cables with BNC connectors to transmit data at 10 megabits per second with the range of 185 meters. 10 base 5 which was a thick net uses RG11 coaxial cable to transmit 10 megabits per second with the range of 5 km. Thick Ethernet has specialized connectors as well. well next we will be talking about uh, the, the last media is called uh, fiber optic cable. Fiber optic cable is uh, made of glass. Earlier they were made up of glass, now they are mostly made up of plastic. Uh, they are called POF, plastic optical fibers. Uh, how they work? Uh, they transmit signals in the form of light. To understand how the light passes through, uh, through the cables, 
we need to some aspect some nature of the light light travels in a straight line if a ray of light travels through one substance suddenly enters into another substance which is like different medium thinner to thicker medium like from air to water or from plastic to air or plastic to water the ray changes direction so you can see the mediums here we have two different mediums uh, from we are moving from denser to a lighter as the figure shows if the angle of incident i angle of incident i is here this is the angle of incident which we are incidenting towards is less than the critical angle the ray refracts refracts basically what i mean to say refracts is is like it bends and moves closer to the surface if the angle of incident is equal to the critical angle this is the critical angle it becomes the equal to critical angle the light bends along the surface along the surface if the angle of incident is equal to the critical angle the light bends towards the interfa inter interfa interface if the angle is greater than the critical angle this is becomes greater than the critical angle the light bends along the surface this makes it a what what it makes it makes it a mirror image it makes it like mirror if the angle is greater than the critical angle the ray reflects makes a turn and travels again in the denser medium or substance now you need to make a note that the critical angle is a property of a substance and its value differs from one substance to another so this value of critical angle changes when there is a different uh, or denser medium or there is a different uh, denser medium or lighter medium optical fibers use reflections to guide light through a channel so how fiber optic works fiber optic works the same way reflection to guide light through a channel this, these are the reflections you can see these are all reflections a glass or plastic core is surrounded by a cladding this is called cladding is less dense glass or plastic this is less denser this is more denser the difference in density of the two materials must be such that the beam of light moving along the core this is the core is reflected off the cladding instead of being reflected into it so we need to make it a like a mirror rather than we we may we uh, come in with different angle and it uh, actually enters the cladding so we don't need to enter the cladding we just need to keep inside the core so by reflecting the the ray so by reflecting the ray we need to the the critical angle has to be greater than the incident angle uh, angle has to be greater than the critical angle so over here we need to make sure that the critical angle is